this tutorial, I'll cover how to generate a confidence interval for the true proportion um, using the one prop Z int feature in the TI-84 calculator. All right, for this uh, example, we're going to use a real data set. Um, this was taken just from a website, uh, ballotpedia.org, and it's the results of the Florida Amendment 2 um, back in 2014. And this was a very controversial ballot um, at the time. It was um, whether or not you support the legalization of medical marijuana. So in this, the results are that um, about 2.5 million voted no and about uh, 3.4 million voted yes. Um, so I just thought, well, what is the uh, confidence interval for the true proportion or true percentage of all Florida residents that support the legalization of medical marijuana? And um, keep in mind, this is not really a random sample of all residents at all. These are the residents that felt passionate enough to go out and vote um, on this amendment. All right, um, so that definitely could be biasing the results some. All right, uh, so let's do this. Um, uh, to start off, we're going to hit the Stat button. And just like the other tutorials, the buttons I hit are um, listed down here, and they're highlighted in red. All right, so um, we're going to go over to Tests. So just right arrow over to Tests. And then go down to 1 uh, Prop Z Int. Um, make sure you don't hit the uh, number 5 here. It's not number 5. This is a, a Z test. We want, um, we want the uh, Z interval feature. Um, so you're going to scroll down, and it's going to be actually off the screen. Sorry, my computer lags a little bit when I make a video. It's going to be option A. So, oops, went a little too far. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's go up a little bit. One prop Z int. Option A, and hit enter. Okay, um, for X, this is the number of successes. Um, since I want to generate a confidence interval for the true proportion of people who voted yes, my number of successes are the people that voted yes. So that's going to be 3,370,761. All right, um, I didn't actually calculate my sample size separately. Um, it might be a good idea to do that before you get to the screen. But if you want to, you can actually do the math here. So I could just do 3,370,761 and add to it um, the people that voted no. So 2,478,993. All right, I want to generate a 99% confidence interval, so I'm just going to do 0.99, and then hit Calculate. And there you go. So somewhere between 57.57% uh, .57 to 57.68%, uh, if you round, of uh, Florida um, residents support um, uh, the legalization of medical marijuana. If you're wondering why this vote didn't pass, because um, it was because they needed at least 60% of people to vote. And as you see here, um, the sample portion of people um, that voted yes was only 57.6%. Okay, and that concludes this video.